Hello and welcome. I think one of the coolest looking transitions between two video clips is the zoom transition. I'm going to show you how to make it in Shotcut, the open source and free video editor. Before we get started, I'm not using GPU effects. I'm not sure if it works, but just to be safe, I'm using no GPU effects. So if this tutorial doesn't work for you, maybe you should disable it and then you will have to redo the whole project, I'm afraid. So better start without. Also, I'm using version 1809.16. Make sure you have at least this version. Any later version should also be great. If your interface looks very different, I recommend you go to View, Layout, Restore Default Layout. And I will not need the audio peak meter. So I'm going to start by creating a little project with some video clips between which I then want to transition. So I'm just going to add them to the source viewer, drag them there. From the file explorer, then I'm going to drag them to my timeline and arrange them in the manner that I want them to be. I'm using S to split clips, right clicking, removing to delete parts. And here we go. So I have four clips arranged and I want to transition between them, not with a cut as you can see it now, but with a zoom transition. So what are we going to do? We're going to click the first one. We're going to add a filter. And uh, let's see, scale. That's what we're going to type in. Rotate and scale. That's the one we want to use. And uh, we need the keyframes interface. So I'm going to press keyframes. And actually, we will not need this toolbar anymore. Let's go to view show toolbar. That should be gone. But we do need the title bars. Make sure that title bars are enabled because I'm going to drag the keyframes around so that we can see timeline and keyframes at the same time. I just prefer it that way. I'm going to zoom in with control mouse wheel while hovering the clips. All right, we're ready here. So what we want is the last few frames should be zooming out. So we're going to grab this dot and drag it to about uh, 10, 15, 10, maybe 11, 12, whatever. Uh, I think anything between between 10 and 20 frames for 30 frames or 25 frames video should be fine. What we're going to do is we're going to jump to this position. Um, never mind, we're going to actually jump to the final position. I'm going to use the arrow key here. And at this point, I wanted to change to 200 scale. Just going to type in 200. Unfortunately, we cannot go beyond 200 currently. I don't like it, but oh well. I mean, maybe in future versions we will be able to go even further. So if we look at this now, yep, you can see if you look at this scale value as we move along to the right, it zooms in. And you can also see it here, of course. All right, so we're done with the zooming in of the first clip. Let's go to the next one. We're going to select the clip. We're going to press the plus so scale scale. In the keyframe interface, yeah, I just got to get used to it. We're going to drag this to, let's say, 11. And we're going to go to the very first frame, set this to 200. All right. Let's see if my computer can handle this. Zoom in, zoom out. So we can see it already works. Of course, it's not as nice and smooth as we will see later, but we can see it totally works. Let's do the same here at the end. 11. Uh, jump to the very end. Let's see. Okay, control arrow keys doesn't work for this, uh, but alt arrow keys does. So alt right, that, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, so we're going to set this to 200. And just check. Yep, it works again. Okay, so what we're going to try now is we're going to just try to click on this clip and copy the filters. And now we're going to click on this clip and paste the filters. And if we zoom out here, it looks like it totally worked. Let's just confirm. Zoom out. Zoom in. What the frick? What? what? This looked super weird. What? Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's just remove this. And it was super strange. Maybe the clips are of different dimensions. I'm actually not sure. I didn't check. My bad. Okay, so we're going to just do it manually. Scale here, 
scale here. Alt key and left arrow key, set this to 200. Alt key and right arrow key and set this to 200. Just let's uh, confirm this, that it works. All right, much better. All right, no more weird distortions. And here we're just going to add it once. Uh, rotate and scale. And move this to about 11, 12, and set this to 200. All right. Zoom in, zoom out. All right, all we got to do now is go to View, Export, Export File. We're going to call this Zoom, Zoom, and Save. Sure thing. Uh, now we're just going to wait for this job to finish. All right, let's take a look at the results. Zoom. Yeah, not too bad. Zoom. And zoom. Would be better with sound effects and music. Ow! So, this is how you do the zoom transition. Maybe, maybe a little faster. I think maybe 11 frames was too much. Let's just fix that. So we're gonna go back to the project. And we're gonna set this to, let's say... Oof. Okay, let's just go for half. Let's... Set this to 6. I'm just gonna fix it for all of them, because that was a bit too slow. Ignore what I said previously about 10 to 20. Uh, more like 5 to 10. Yeah, this looks much better. Faster is better. I hope this tutorial helped. Make sure to check out my other tutorials. You can just search for Tux Shortcut. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Many of my tutorials are inspired by questions in the comments. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!